Have you seen this app that's been making waves online? It's been the talk of the town lately. They say it can hack anything, from smartphones to laptops and even smart home devices. It's like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. It got me thinking, what if we could use this knowledge for good? Ready to dive into the shadowy world of hacking and uncover its secrets? Don't worry, we're not going full black hat here. We're not endorsing illegal activities or malicious intent. Instead, we're going to flip the script. We'll explore how understanding hacking techniques can actually help you protect yourself. In this video, we'll delve into the world of ethical hacking. We'll show you how these techniques can boost your cybersecurity awareness and keep you safe online. Think of it like learning to pick a lock to better secure your own. By understanding the methods hackers use, you can better defend against them. The information in this video is for educational purposes only. Our goal is to inform and empower you not to encourage any illegal activities. Using hacking techniques for illegal activities is a big no-no and will land you in trouble. Always stay on the right side of the law. With that out of the way, let's dive into the world of ethical hacking. We'll cover some basic techniques and how you can use them to protect yourself. Smash that like button, share and subscribe for more cybersecurity insights. Stay safe and stay informed. Before we boot up Kaylee Linux, let's take a moment to understand the broader context of what we're about to dive into. Let's talk about the ethical. Hacking isn't inherently bad. In fact, it's a skill that can be harnessed for both good and evil. It's a powerful tool that can be used for good or evil, like a screwdriver. Just as a screwdriver can be used to build or to break, hacking skills can be applied in various ways. Ethical hacking, or white hat hacking, uses the same skills as malicious hackers, but with permission. This is a critical distinction. Ethical hackers are cybersecurity consultants. They are the guardians of the digital world, ensuring that systems are secure. They're hired to find vulnerabilities in systems before the bad guys do. This proactive approach helps prevent potential breaches. Think of it as a security audit for your computer systems, networks, and applications. Just like a financial audit ensures the integrity of financial records, a security audit ensures the integrity of digital systems. They play the role of the attacker to find weak points so they can be patched up. This simulated attack helps in identifying and fixing vulnerabilities before they can be exploited. Ethical hackers operate with full permission from the system owners. This legal framework ensures that their activities are sanctioned and beneficial. They have a contract, a scope of work, and a responsibility to report vulnerabilities without exploiting them. This professional approach distinguishes ethical hackers from malicious ones. Everything we discuss falls under ethical hacking. Our goal is to educate and empower you with the knowledge to protect and defend. We're here to learn, understand, and protect ourselves, not to become cyber criminals. By understanding the principles of ethical hacking, we can contribute to a safer digital world for everyone. Let's talk about how these so-called hacking apps work. Most of these apps aren't traditional hacking tools. They're pre-packaged exploits that take advantage of existing vulnerabilities. Imagine your phone's operating system is like a house. A security vulnerability is like an unlocked window. A hacking app is like someone handing you a ladder and pointing you to the unlocked window. These apps exploit vulnerabilities that haven't been patched yet. Software developers are constantly fixing security holes, but it's a never-ending game of cat and mouse. These apps might also exploit weak passwords, social engineering, or human error. Even with the latest security software, you're not 100% safe. Let's dive into some tools that ethical hackers and malicious actors use. These tools are essential for understanding the landscape of cybersecurity, and knowing how they work can help you protect your own systems. We're looking at Metasploit and Wireshark. These are two of the most popular tools in the hacking community, each serving a unique purpose. Metasploit is the Swiss army knife of penetration testing. It's incredibly versatile and can be used for a variety of tasks, from scanning networks to exploiting vulnerabilities. It's an open source framework filled with exploits and payloads. This means that anyone can contribute to its development, making it a constantly evolving tool. Imagine you have a wall to test for weaknesses. Metasploit allows you to simulate attacks to see where the wall might fail. Metasploit is like having different battering rams and grappling hooks. You can choose the right tool for the job, whether it's a brute force attack or a more subtle approach. You can use it to probe for vulnerabilities and launch simulated attacks. This helps in identifying and fixing security issues before they can be exploited by malicious actors. Wireshark, on the other hand, is a network sniffer. It's used to capture and analyze network traffic. 
giving you a detailed view of what's happening on your network. It's like a digital microscope for analyzing network traffic in real time. You can see every packet of data that travels through your network, making it easier to spot anomalies. Ethical hackers use Wireshark to identify security loopholes and troubleshoot network problems. It's an invaluable tool for maintaining the health and security of a network. These tools are powerful and potentially dangerous. While they can be used for good, they can also be misused for malicious purposes. Using them for illegal activities is a big no-no. Always ensure you have permission before testing any system, and use these tools responsibly to make the digital world a safer place. Sometimes the weakest link in cybersecurity is us, humans. Social engineering exploits human psychology to gain access to sensitive information. Imagine you're a hacker trying to break into a building. Instead of picking the lock, you trick someone into letting you in. One common tactic is phishing. Those emails that look like they're from your bank? Often phishing attempts. Another tactic is baiting, where attackers leave infected USB drives around. Once plugged in, the malware is installed. Social engineering preys on our natural tendencies to trust and be curious. Let's talk about real-world hacking incidents and their consequences. Remember the Equifax data breach in 2017? Hackers exploited a vulnerability and accessed personal information of over 147 million people. The WannaCry ransomware attack in 2017 exploited a Windows vulnerability, encrypting data and demanding ransom. Hospitals, businesses, and government agencies were crippled. The NotPetya attack in 2017 caused billions in damage. This malware, believed to be launched by Russia, wiped data and caused disruption. These incidents highlight the importance of cybersecurity. The consequences of security failures can be devastating. Let's talk about how you can protect yourself from digital threats. Use strong, unique passwords for all your online accounts. Use a password manager if needed. Be wary of phishing emails and suspicious links. Verify the legitimacy of emails by going directly to the source's website. Keep your software up to date. Software updates often include important security patches. Be careful what you download and from where. Stick to reputable websites and app stores. Use a VPN, especially on public Wi-Fi. A VPN encrypts your internet traffic. Enable two-factor authentication whenever possible. Practice good cybersecurity hygiene and be aware of your surroundings. Let's wrap up by talking about why ethical hacking is important. Ethical hackers use their skills to make the digital world safer. They identify weaknesses and ensure they're fixed before malicious actors exploit them. Ethical hackers help organizations find and fix vulnerabilities. They improve security awareness and help build more secure systems. They protect critical infrastructure from cyber attacks. Ethical hackers are the unsung heroes of cybersecurity. So there you have it. We've explored hacking tools and techniques and learned how to protect ourselves. Cybersecurity is an ongoing process. Stay informed about the latest threats and vulnerabilities. Consider a career in ethical hacking. The world needs more white hats. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe for more cybersecurity insights. Stay safe out there.